Where are we at? We are at Las Las Cantecas. <laughs> Can you try it? Where are we at? Uh, Las Las Cantecas. Yeah, he butchered it. Uh, we're here at this place on Brundage Lane. Uh, we're in uh, a shopping center uh, here. Yep. And we're somewhere in between Brundage Lane. Just east of A Street. Yes. Just east of A. Just east of A Street. We'll look on the back of the cart. Yeah. Didn't say it. Nothing. Oh, my friend, how do you how do you say the name of this place? Right <laughs> Los Las Caltecas. Los Caltecas. Las Caltecas. Las Caltecas. Yes, sir. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Are you the owner? Wonderful. Well, we're just about to try this. We're filming for our, we have a taco show on YouTube uh, called Feed Nico and Doug Tacos. So, oh my gosh, look at these. Wow. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. Those are yeah. beautiful. Those are going to burn me twice. <laughs> now when I eat them in a few hours. Anyways. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. All right. Thank you so much for this. Oh my gosh. It's so good. There's the ladies in there. They're slaving, uh, you know, getting after it. And okay, so wow. here's some things to point out already off the bat. Okay. Number one, this is not a noisy truck. Right. Okay. There is, there's very one, quiet there's generator. playing music. It's quiet. Yeah. It, it's clean and beautiful. Yeah. This is a, a size for the horchata. Look how big that is. Okay. Yeah, that's really large. And then because it's cold. Yeah. I love these people. They make champurrado. Champurrado. So champurrado. So good. Um, Oh, it's lava hot. All right. Uh, you got a, a quesadilla, so yes, we won't so, be talking yeah, to you. you don't have to talk to me uh, what do you have? Al pastor, like usual. Wow, and that man. is a huge taco. I know, and the chunks of al pastor oh look gosh. great. Hold on. Let me see this. What are we doing here? We just. Huh? <laughs> and then uh, chorizo. And it doesn't look like uh, Caucasian chorizo either. Hey, before we start, though. Welcome to another episode of Feed Nico and Doug Tacos. <laughs> Pretty yeah. happy about the Champarado and the food and yeah. uh, man, and it is chilly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, low 40s. I'm underdressed mm -hmm. to say the least, but I'm happy I'm here. This place looks bomb. People are real accommodating. The Champarado was free. Yeah. You can see we were cold out here. And uh, these things, oh my oh, gosh. Man. Nico. Try it. They look not too cooked, so they're gonna be really hot. Spicy. Wow. Huh? How do you feel that? The heat. Whoa. Huh? That's so good. I'm going right in. Go for it. I got me some lingua here. I'm trying to figure lingua. out which one it is. It's this one. God, that looks like real deal holy feels yeah, right there. Yeah, that little cube hanging off the end. You got a little, uh, I asked for some hot sauce. They gave me that one. Got a little shot? Oh, yeah. Those poor people. Uh, little shots. All right, here we go. Man, there's nothing not to like about that. Yeah? Wow. Wow. This is so good. Really? Big, thick chunks of lingua. Oh my gosh. Huh? That's lingua done right. That is excellent. Really, really good. Wow. Wow. Up there? Wow. Oh, it's way up there. I ain't throwing your lemon on it. You know, you good? You know, when when you're eating food from another country, you want to do what the locals do. They love their lemon and their lime. And uh, I've just learned to adapt. Oh, we got a bicycle going by. Possible uh -oh. tweaker. Takes one to no spun. All right, so what do you got? All right, chorizo, al pastor. Save them the what I anticipate is the best for last. I don't know, never you, been here. You like to anticipate. Does it appear to be a homemade tortilla, but mandatory deduction, you guys know the rules. Is that your, uh, what is that, chorizo? Chorizo. Pretty tasty chorizo. Yeah? Yep. What do you like about it? Not your Caucasian stuff? Yep. All right, well, I'm gonna give that a shot then. 
Go for it. It's got a little bit of a sour taste to it. Does it? it? I a little love different that. ting to it, like than I'm used to. Sometimes it's regional stuff with these tacos. Right. Different regional spices. I don't know if that's the case here, but it just seemed like a little different. I was just gonna say the same thing. Yeah. Huh? I'm like that. Yeah. Yeah. Make it any sour or nothing like that. Huh. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, come on. Try it. It's not bad. I like it. All right. Well, what just up? for filming purposes. What else you got? I got me an Okay, tell me what you think. All right, I will. Did you just add the asada quesadilla, yeah. correct? And why not? Yeah. Just a little touch. Good, That's isn't good. It? Yeah. Yeah. That was a good cut of meat. It's like the real thing. <laughs> wow. Charcoal flavor? Yes. Stupid good. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it have a charcoal flavor or open wood flavor? Almost reminds me of a Dave's taco. Huh. Whatever they season that with. Dare I say outstanding. Mm -hmm. huh. Try that. Outstanding, huh? Give that a little shot ski. That's a good flavor. You squirt lemon on it? Yeah, of course. A little lemon on there? We well, yeah. have. That is that. good. Here we go. Uh -oh. Al Pastor, I've been looking at this. Huh? Man. That's a big taco. Yeah. A lot. a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. Really tender? Yeah. Some big cuts of meat. I don't get a pineapple flavor though. Reduction. <laughs> super tender, super juicy though. I mean, that, I mean look at that. That's a huge piece of meat. Yep. Wow. Those are darn good tacos. I like this place. I'd say, I guess I'll go ahead and go right into the rating. Yeah, come on. What's the chorizo doing? They got a little sour flavor, you it, said. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, uh, man, I got a... 7.9. One, one of the weaker ones for me. Really? Yeah, I don't know. 7.9. Now the Al Pastor, it's a little bit better than that. Uh, I'm gonna go probably an 8.6. Wow. On the Al Pastor. Hey, I'm not mad at them. They're good. I'd come back. The owner's super cool. He blessed us with the hot cocoa. Yeah. Looks like quality ingredients. Uh, yeah. Overall rating. Well, if I combine my two, it's a low eight, eight point one. Yeah, ain't, that ain't bad, huh? Well, you know, you had an eight point six to seven point nine. I think so, your I think your overall rating is a little low, especially yeah. with the free champarado. Champarado. Free chili storiados and onions. Yeah. I'm gonna go a little higher on mine. All right. Now I'm gonna have to give this. You know, when I asked for a little bit of hot sauce, she gave me this. So <laughs> that that'll score yeah, you real high. And it's got those onion things. Love the red onion. That was nice. Mm. Well, I like the tree so better than you did. Yep. Easily, that's an 8.4 taco. <clears throat> the asada has got some great flavor. Really like that. Man, I mean, that's a solid. 8.4. Let's keep that going. But we're not going to keep that going with the lingua. No. Because the lingua's special. The lingua's got a lot going on for it. That's a 9.3 lingua Whoa. taco. 
It's huh? up there. One of the best in town from what your ratings. I mean, it, it's up there. Really? Oh, yeah. That old guy? I can't hit that thing fast enough when we're done filming. Jeez. I would definitely come back here. For the lingua? The Chomperado. This stuff's like lava. <sighs> wow. <laughs> So flavorful though. It burn my throat. <laughs> it's got it's got like a little crust on top now. Yeah, because it's cold out. See that? Oh it does. So this is the the the, the scut that ah. were the enemies of the Aztecs. They are still an indigenous group of people oh, in wow. Mexico. They speak a language called Nahuatl. Huh. So and I've heard of that before. They um they lived in uh, a certain region and um they spoke Nahuatl, Natomi, and Pinome. And uh, they became the, ethnic, the dominant ethnic group uh, uh, in opposition to the Aztecs. Interesting. So, yeah. So, oh, there's yeah. a little history on our taco and show today. what's cool, too, is that they, uh, they didn't collect their enemies for, uh, for, for slaves. They captured them for sacrifice. So these are people who wow. are hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But she's going to tear up right there. Jeez. Huh? Capture your enemies and then sacrifice them to, to your God. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm going to give them a really high rating now so I don't get sacrificed <laughs> if they come looking for me. This is delicious. Uh, all together, chaparrado, hot sauce, the, the chili storiados, the onion, the tacos. A little, little burp there. That's a it's a 9.1 for me with what they have going on here. Great service, great mm -hmm. taco truck, great really history. friendly people. Great history. Well, I don't know about great history. <laughs> <laughs> Capture your enemies and sacrifice them. Uh, uh, but hey, they weren't they weren't they, were uh, they weren't traffickers, so yeah. they didn't keep them slaves. So uh, they get a 9.2 now. Now I think about it. So I mean that's where I'm at. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we. Uh, we were filming uh, a little episode over at uh, Beria Garcia with the chicharron taco, but the filming yeah. failed us. So we'll check that out next time. Uh, hey, thank you so much for checking out uh, us. Like, yeah. subscribe, comment, share uh, with Feed Nico and Doug Tacos. Closer to March. Come on. Uh, I just want to say Merry Christmas coming up on there the day. We celebrate in our Lord and Savior Jesus. So just Merry Christmas to y'all. Thanks for subscribing and watching. Uh, love you guys. See you next time. Come check this place out. They have a they even have a loyal customer card. So after your third visit, you get a free drink. So hit them up. Yeah. They are. This is good food. Good food. Good service. Awesome. Well, there you have it. Another episode in the in the uh, in the books. Check about Brundage Lane. And uh, yeah. Merry Christmas uh, from all of us here to all of you guys there. God bless. Bye-bye.